and in this class we are going to learn how we can connect the internet example this is your network just now in our previous class what we done same that thing we have and now we have the isp imagine you have the isp router here we can say this is a isp router and here imagine you have the google server here we can say 8.8.8.8 is google server here okay this is a google server and you taken the isp you taken the internet connection from the isp you can take any isp and you connect it from the isp to your branch and this router is not having the port so what you will do in the real scenario you are going to go to the market and you are going to buy the uh, internet that is ethernet card and you will switch off and you will put the card you need to first check you have the slot or not if you don't have the slot no need to buy if you have the slot then you will buy and you will put in that slot and you will power on the router so now you will have that one uh, this router is power on and you put the interface so now you can connect it will connect from here to here okay and now what we will do we will go to this interface and we are going to configure so imagine isp give you some ip isp told you i am giving 200.1.1.1 slash 24 assign this ip and create the default route towards this ip imagine isp is having 200.1.1.2 slash 24 so isp told you assign this ip to your router interface fast ethernet whatever interface we are using here fast ethernet 1 by 0 this interface assign this ip and forward the default route towards this one okay and isp imagine isp is having the google server here so now we need to do that configuration so how we will do i will go to the what we can say uh, this router our edge router if you want to put here i can say edge router okay you can give any name here edge router core router exit router whatever you want you can give here customer edge router you can say customer edge router your wish whatever name you want to give you can give so here i will go to this router and i will check show ip interface brief i have the interface already this lan network is working perfectly no issue and the interface which is facing towards the isp is fast ethernet 1 by 0 so this is the interface which is facing towards the isp so what we need to do i need to go to that interface and assign the IP whatever IP ISP give me so I will write here IP address 200.1.1.1 give space 255.255.255.0 I will write here no shirt and ISP what ISP told create the default route so I will write IP route 0.0.0 then I will give space 0.0.0 then after that he told forward all the traffic towards the ISP IP what is ISP IP this is the ISP IP so I created the default route towards the ISP now i need to do the nat configuration also but before that let's configure the isp router but in real scenario you will not configure the isp router but here we are doing the isp router configuration so no need to worry in real scenario you will not touch the isp router now in the lab we are doing the isp configuration so here i change the name of the isp i will go to the interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 why fast ethernet 0 by 0 because here fast ethernet 0 by 0 i will write ip address 200.1.1.2 give space 255.255.255.0 and then write no shirt so this one i assign the ip and let me create one loop bag and we will say this is a google server that is a loop bag 0 i will say this is a google server so we can ping from our lan network and we can say i can access the internet so this is the basic configuration here what we done here show history if you see here or i will go here interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 if you write here do show history so i do this configuration here what i done here this is the configuration i done here okay anyhow i will save the configuration you can pause the video to write down the comments what i use here so here everything is good but now if you try to send any traffic from here to the 8.8.8 .8 .8, it will not work let me stop this one we are sending this to lan network okay so how we can stop i will let me stop here i will select here and i stop here now i will say ping dash t 8.8.8.8 so i am sending the traffic from my lan network towards the internet but it will not work because still we did not configure here the what we can say nat so i need to configure the net so how i am going to configure net uh, we need to select the traffic so whatever traffic we have in our lan network 
in your LAN network you need to check what traffic you are using if you see in your LAN, LAN network you have this one and you have this one so what I can write I can write 192.168.10.0 and I have another 192.168.20.0 this two network ID we can use we can say this is the two network we have in our uh, LAN network so I can configure this one what I can do I can create the uh, select the traffic and do the net configuration so what we will do we will create the access list I can write access list one permit and I will write 192.168.10.0 and we need to write the wildcard mass already you know wildcard mass how we can calculate I will press this one and again I will create I will say this one will be 20 because we are having two network only in our organization so I will do this way so now I selected the traffic by using the ACL if you don't know what is ACL write in the comment we are going to make the video on ACL also already in our YouTube channel you have the playlist in that one you can check the ACL video also okay now we are going to configure the net so we will write IP net inside source okay list what is the list ACL list is one we give the name one and interface what is the exit interface which is pointing towards the ISP fast Ethernet 1 by 0 so I will write here fast Ethernet 1 by 0 and you need to write the keyword overload okay so this way we will do after that you need to put inside and outside so which interface is inside which interface is out, outside we need to write so if you see this interface fast Ethernet interface fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 I can write here this is a outside because traffic is going out here so IP net outside and the other two interface is inside so I will write fast Ethernet 0 by 0 IP net inside and we have another interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 IP net inside okay so this way we will configure that one and now check this traffic before it is not working now it, it is start working they are accessing the internet we can say this is a internet 8.8.8 .8 .8 is the internet so before they are unable to communicate when we configure the net here they start uh, working that one I can save the configuration here and imagine you can uh, put one server here or like like this you can put one server here you can say this is a Google server or something you can say and here instead of the loopback you can put this IP or any IP to F0 by 1 if you don't want the loopback you can go here interface loopback 0 right here no IP address so that IP will remove then you can write interface because now I am going to put the server here so fast Ethernet 0 by 1 so I will write here fast Ethernet 0 by 1 I can assign IP address I will say 8.8.8.1 okay 255.255.255.0 I will write here no shirt okay this one I will save the configuration now we don't have the loopback 8.8.8 now we are going to configure this server as 8.8.8 so now I will go to this server I will write 8.8.8 and this is the default subnet mask and I will write here 8.8.8.1 okay here we do and if you see here it will traffic will drop here because we remove the loop back here again we put the server so traffic again started now so they are accessing this server imagine this is a Google server okay the imagine this is a Google server connected to the ISP okay like this we can say if you want to add more router we can add the router we can run the MPLS or we can what we can say we can do the configuration for BGP and all other stuff but now you I hope you can understand here this is the ISP interface this is ISP router and this is the Google server okay if you are having confusion I can put some color here we can say this one this green color is the ISP color we can say okay this is the green this all green is covering by the ISP and if you want any other color we can select this yellow color is for our our network we can say we can say like this I will move this here no problem this yellow is for our our network that is our local area network and I can move this here or something I can move this switch here and I can move this switch here so what we are saying here the yellow color wherever you have that is our LAN network and this is the van this link is connecting here so this is a van also this one is a van so this is ISP network 
you can put here this is a isp network isp or double i i wrote isp network this side whatever server they have just we are taking it dotted dotted and we are pinging it is working you can ping here also and check it will work if you write ping 8 dot 8 dot 8 dot 8 it will work and also there is a services you can go to the browser and you can type here 8 dot 8 dot 8 if you type uh, with the domain name then we need the dns but now we are using the ip so it is working perfectly no issue okay we can say it is working perfectly what we can say it is working perfectly so now what i can say this one is also working this one also working if you want to ping here 8 dot 8 dot 8 dot 8 we can say this is google server it is working and if you want to browse that website whatever website we have in that server you can browse here you can write here 8 dot 8 dot 8 dot 8 it will work so everything is working perfectly i hope you understand this concept in case if you face any issue write in the chat box or whatsapp us our team is going to support you and try to join our telegram channel we are going to share this topology in the telegram channel so you can what we can say you can use and you can copy the configuration from there so i save this one everything i save here later what we can do we can configure here the vlan here all are in the same vlan okay in this network now currently everything is in the same vlan so in our next class what we are going to do i am going to create the different vlan i am going to create the different vlan and then we are going to look how different vlan can access we need to do the inter vlan so we can take the layer 3 switch to do the inter vlan or we can use the router interface method to do the inter vlan later we are going to see that one now this is finished so in case if you face any issue let us know thank you 